So another simple way to teach online using your gradebook would be to use Power Teacher Pro. You can log in and create a new assignment. So you want students to be able to see what you need and when is it due. So here I'm logging in as Coach Reed. So click here, give it a name. We'll call it uh, Running Form. <clears throat> You know, fill out your typical stuff. Whatever your school sets up, however you have it set up. So we'll put this in. You'll put your points and what it's worth. Uh, due date. Uh, today's the 19th. Let's make the due date. Uh, let's just say tomorrow. So you put in here whatever information you want. It's about how to run properly for uh, endurance okay so you give it the name uh, if you want to put a link in you can also put a link I have a video I found on YouTube I've copied that link so uh, insert a link here click on the little link button I'll put in the URL I don't think the beginning of it is needed. Yes, it fix it automatically display. And I'll give it a name. A running form. And click OK. So it'll put it in here. <clears throat> when the students log in, they'll see this assignment in your gradebook when they log into regular PowerSchool. They don't have to go through PowerSchool Learning or, they, or Google. They'll go straight to PowerSchool. They'll open your class. They'll see this assignment that's due. They click on it. They'll see all this information. They'll see the link. Uh, so let's hit save and close. Assignment is there. So there it is. So it's already in your grade book. However, you're measuring assignment right now using Google Classroom or using PowerSchool Learning. You can take those grades if you have to. You have to manually enter here if you're using Google Classroom right now. But anyway, that's basically it. That's one way to use your teacher gradebook as an online instructional tool or teaching tool.